Hello everybody, today we're going to be talking about a draft deck from Kamigawa, Neon Dynasty. That has gotten me 6-0 so far. And let's take a look at which cards were all-stars and which I thought were really helpful. I'll rate each card, um, let's say, on a scale of, uh, you know, A+, being the best, and D being, you know, really bad. I would say this card was, uh, B plus, and it was very, very good at holding the board against enemy attacks, and really bought me a lot of time sometimes. They, to you know, do my other stuff. This card, it's a mana sink, and it actually was my win condition sometimes. So I'll rate this actually. If you have just no other mana sinks, actually this could be an A minus. I actually ended up pumping this with five five two turns near the late game. But if you have other mana sinks, this isn't as good. I always like having one mana sink in the deck. This card was really good. I also give this A minus because it held the board. 3-3 three, three seems to be a very good number in limited. And their two twos, two threes just couldn't attack. And sometimes they had like, you know, three three flyers. Not very often there's four toughness flyers. And, and sometimes I had two of them on the field and it was just, I, didn't, I never used a channel. But it's nice to have that option. This card here, I didn't use that much, but it, my deck is based, it has a lot of artifacts. There's six total, so it could, at, at best, it could be a, it could get five more counters. Um, I can't really speak to this deck, uh, this one, because I didn't use it too much. I'll give it a B so far, but uh, Ward is also just very nice. Grave Lighter. Um, actually, this card was really good. Uh, there was actually a point where I didn't want to draw the card. I just want them, someone to sacrifice a creature. And, you know, they had a bomb, just one card. And I sacrificed, you know, like um, a, a token or something. So this card in my deck was also really good. I had, I have a lot of artifacts and enchantments. As you saw before, I had around um, seven enchantments. So I had death touch manas often. So this is kind of a build around. So if you have a deck like mine, uh, it could be an A minus because Death Touch Menace. You, that means they have to block a two, and two has to die. And yeah, it was just in my deck. I say it's an A minus. In any other deck, maybe just a B minus. So yeah, it's a build around. Okay, I really like this card. This card is amazing on ninjutsu. There were times when I was able to attack with this ninjutsu something else in, and I was able to draw a card. So ETB is very good in ninjutsu format. This card was actually really good. It's also a build around again. So this one, you know, this is a very synergistic uh, format. So this card, uh, I would rate this in my deck an A actually with ninjutsu. But uh, in any other deck, you know, where you don't have ninjutsu, uh, you know, it's still a B plus because you can draw a card when it leaves. So that includes being exiled. This one uh, allowed me to prevent me from being flooded because I just need one other artifact. And on the turn I play it, I also get a mana because artifacts don't have mana sickness. So if you have other artifacts, I say it's an A minus in a grindy deck. And in a, you know, in other decks though, maybe it will be more of a B minus. If you don't have any other artifacts, maybe even lower C. So this one, um, I actually ended up not having too much of my artifacts and enchantments in my graveyard. So it wasn't that good. But you know, at most it can be a seven plus six. So six plus six, 12. But that's the best case scenario. And this one was really good also for um, it's evasion, which is good for ninjutsu. And if you can get this back onto your hand and play it again, that was great. This card was amazing. That's probably one of the reasons why I'm doing so well. Because I have two mana, destroy any creature. That's really relevant in limited. Because I have a lot of artifacts and enchantment. Very efficient removal. This card was an all-star. I have an artifact and enchantment. Draw a card, gain a life. That's backbreaking for them and in jitsu draw another card man drawing cards is amazing okay this is an ninjutsu card that represents a six point life swing three to them you gain three so that's really amazing i like this card 
And then this was also really good. Get plus one plus one. And destroy a creature and I get um, the enchantment which is synergistic in my whole deck. It's, this is amazing. It is an instant but I it was really useful. A removal that also has synergy. Usually you just play removal that doesn't have synergy and it's fine. And actually this card is really good too. It allowed me to attack freely I sometimes and just channel threaten channel. Maybe let's say I was attacking with uh, one of these circuit or um, this guy, sorry, Kami, uh, into a, like maybe a 4-4. Four four. But then if they don't block, sometimes they think I'm bluffing. Then if, if they don't block, I don't play it because I want to enchant instead. And then I can ninja in my ninjas, which you can see more later. Or I, you know, it's nice to have that safety. It's really also good for ninjutsu to have combat tricks because in case they block, you are not screwed. This card, um, I didn't use it that much, but you know, in an enchantment matters deck, it's a little better because getting plus one plus one is pretty good. It might allow an attack uh, that might allow in ninjutsu. Having enchantment is also good. So this card has been really good. I've enabled ninjutsu this a lot with my, you know, I have some evasion creatures, some. Death Touch is kind of evasion, you know, flying is evasion. Because uh, Death Touch, they don't want to block it, you know? And they're not sure if I even have a ninjutsu creature. And it's only one mana, so they feel bad for blocking, even with a two drop. So there's this uh, flying as well. And yeah, anyways. And this one, uh, I actually didn't get to use this that much, but I would imagine it's pretty good. I would say it's really good removal. Yeah, I, I never got to use it though. But anyways, this is the deck, exact deck. I used to get 6-0. And I hope to go 7-0. My best ever for 7 is in 7-2. So this would have been a, a world record for me. Thanks for watching everybody. Tyler's Rocker here.